Yeah, the selectmen approved this in a secret meeting on Thanksgiving, a couple days before Thanksgiving. A fairly holiday spirit, I guess. So I'm wondering, Michael, what is the actuals, now that we know the year is over, we know the actuals for the merit, <coughs> alleged merit raise, what was the actuals for 2013? They, they generate uh, an amount of $17,666, which is why that, that budget is in there. So the actuals yep. on what has already taken place yep. without budget committee review, without town meeting, without the legislative body review, has been increased by 17,766 against the budget of last year of fourteen thousand dollars so it went up three thousand basically three thousand dollars was the number that generated yes right and that was granted I read the minutes of the non-public meeting an extremely nebulous motion I mean you could read it 95 ways to Sunday but there are some limitations to it there's a one percent there are actually two motions in the in those minutes there's a 1% raise for non-union, all, no, all non-union employees, right? So all non-union employees got a 1% raise according to that motion. There was no reference at all made to it being retroactive. But it was put into effect as though the motion implied it being retroactive. Is that correct? It was made retroactive. <coughs> right. Even though the motion does not specify it being retroactive. And then the second motion was to give the town manager a 1% raise, correct? I believe so. And was that raise issued retroactively? Yes. Right. Now, the town manager is a non-union employee. Right. So he's actually covered by both motions, the first and the second. Did the he get 1% or 2%? The list, the list that was presented did not have the town manager having a raise that he was excluded from the original motion. Well, the motion did not exclude anybody. It said no, all non-union employees. Well, there was a list presented. And Point of order, if I could. No. We're yes. defining this, though. Um, I, I understand Definitely. the point you're making. I'm a, I'm a little too dicey here. I, I'm sensing we're moving into areas of personnel. I'm not worried about the meetings or the minutes. We're talking about personnel, pay raises. Hmm. I'm wondering if we need to I don't think this is the forum. <coughs> Let me explain the line of question. This is, this is the forum. The, the, uh, the, the number that we're being presented, we got an actual of 17766, mm -hmm. and it's based on a motion made by the Board mm -hmm. of Selectmen. And I'm speaking about the motion of the Board of Selectmen mm -hmm. and how it was effectuated, mm -hmm. which produces this number. Right. So that's why it's relevant to this meeting. Okay, okay Mark. My objective would numbers. be when we're looking at specific But then we list. make the budget. If you, if you oppose this, vote against it. No, it's not a question. I don't. I don't jump that quickly, to, uh, Richard. I, I try to understand first, and so my questions are questions of seeking an understanding, a more complete understanding. And then I'll make a judgment. So, my question is, is that the non-public minutes, which are published, they're on the website. Are, you can. I've read them four or five times because they're kind of like nebulous, as I said earlier. The first motion said non-union employees all get a one percent raise. There's nothing meritorious about it didn't have anything to do with whether or not they changed their health insurance plan. Everybody got 1% that was not in a union. Right? That was the motion. Then there was a second motion. And the minutes clearly specified the town manager left the room in this secret meeting, the non-public meeting. And he was to be given a 1% raise. So my question is, is that the town manager is not a union employee, so he should be covered, I would think, by the first motion as well as the second motion, because the second motion was specific to him. Okay. So, but that was not done. Is that correct? Tim, your point, though, My to point the is this. Total. My point is this, that the policy that the Board of Selectmen set forth as reflected in their, their secret minutes, the non-public meeting minutes, we made, you made the point. It is very difficult to discern exactly what policy they were trying to effectuate. And it's clear because there was retroactivity that was actually put into place, even though it wasn't specified in the minutes. It's clear that you can read it that the town manager was entitled to 2%, not a 1% raise in those minutes. That, that apparently didn't take place. So I'm at a loss as to think whether these actuals were done correctly or not, co according to the policy set forth by the Board of Selectmen. Okay, I'm going to bring it back full circle here to So that's my question on the actuals. The transparency on this process 
leaves a lot to be desired.